Just when you're dispatching some bad guys, your trusty six-gun cylinder jams. It can be disgruntling for even the most mellow gunslinger. I had this problem, and I'll show you how I solved it. First, let's push the cylinder pin all the way in for safety, because I'm going to load the cylinder with live rounds. First, I'll slip in one of my reloads, followed by a factory cowboy load, and I'll alternate the rest of them. Note the very narrow gap between the cylinder and frame. There's not any slack. The cylinder jammed on the left side. I had to pull the cylinder at the range because a cartridge was wedged tight. I'll pull the cylinder to show the area of concern. I've already filed the problem area, but your gun will have a straight line across here where the metal thickness increases. And that sometimes snags the rim of the cartridge as it slides up to it. I have used a jeweler's file to ramp that ridge so that the cartridge slides by smoothly. The slight increase in thickness is for the correct amount of head spacing as the cartridge goes into the firing position. You don't want to file any more than that sharp ridge. Once I ramped the ridge, I used 500 grit sandpaper to smooth it. Another area that may cause jams is the loading gate alignment. Mine is flush with the frame, so it's not a problem. With just a half hour's worth of careful filing and sanding, my cylinder runs smooth, even when it's almost too hot to handle. Once you're done, it should feed smoothly in all positions, whether you're shooting gophers or pterodactyls. Hey, that reminds me, it's time for some grub.